Hello, Sparkle Lovers! This is Alice. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. You know the drill, turn on that fucking resolution on the video. Today, the sneak peek on the channel is Storm Inside by my favorite Yume Art. As you may be aware, it is part of her Glass Instruments series. We've also sneak peeked the one with the violinist on this channel, and now we have this drum girl one. A girl can only hope that Diamond Art Club will bring the rest of the series to us. So without further ado, let's dive right into this kit. This is a piece of artwork that we have waited for so long. Ever since it was in voting, I had got excited. Because who can resist a transparent set of drums? So here we have the small sticker here with the artwork and the art name. And the diamond shape that I chose is square, but this kit actually will come with both square and round this time. The dimension is 17.7 inches times 26.6 inches or 45 centimeters times 67.5 centimeters. It's very interesting that Diamond Art Club has started doing some of the renderings in both diamond shapes. What I think they're doing is they just use the same rendering but put it on square and diamond respectively. So that's why the round kits would be a little bit larger because it is the same pixels if you think about it. But because the round diamonds are a little bigger, that's why the canvas is a little bigger. But they are probably the exact same pixels if I didn't know any better. So I'm a lover of square diamonds and that's why I pick the square kit. Let's see also what we have in the toolkit because I always like to solve the mystery of the cover minder and the washi tape. So the cover minder in this kit I got is the bunny with the strawberry. I think I might have got this one, but at the very least we know it's part of our larger series of cover minders. So that will go right in there. In the washi tape, we got this green hearts, green purple hearts. I kind of wish they did a musical washi tape that could pretty much go with quite a few of Yume's kids plus some other kids. But you know, a girl can dream. Um, putting that aside, I'm ready to unravel this canvas. Wow. So here we have the big stickers, Storm Inside by Yume Art, and here is a really high definition print of the original artwork. And we have 44 colors in total. As you can imagine, a lot of the color in this piece of artwork or this kit is definitely blue tints because you know we got a lot of water going on here and we have the storm going on in the background and some dark colors uh, but we have two fairy dust diamond here in the end you see two fairy dust diamonds I don't think I've seen fairy dust in these two colors before maybe the dark teal one in flower delivery but that one was not an official release yet which is also by Yume Art, and it's gonna come out in June with a much better rendering instead. But yeah, these two, I think they are new fairy dust colors. And we also have two ABs on top over here, so it's the blue and white AB. So let's take a look at the diamonds in this kit. So as usual, we have the name of the kit on a sticker here on the outside. If you store the diamonds separately from the canvas, you will still be able to match them up. And here is all the colors in this kit. It has quite a bit of uh, dark colors because of the background storm as well as a lot of outlines and you know, the black dress that the girl is wearing and such. So I'm not surprised. If you are the type of 
diamond painter that really likes to work on super colorful kits. This kit may not be for you, but if you're the type that's are like, I'm willing to do whatever color there is, as long as I love the artwork and I know it will turn out beautiful, because it always does, even if the process might sometimes get a little boring, or a lot of color blocking, then go for it. And if you love color blocking, definitely go for it, because you can see a lot of color blockings in the background. And I imagine there's a good mixture of some confetti here for the details, so we'll get into that later. Let me lay out the diamonds first. Oh, before I lay out the diamonds, one thing I forgot to do is to do a measurement. Because it doesn't seem as big of a kit I expected it needs to be. But I guess it doesn't have that much more detail to need a huge canvas. So the length is 67.2 centimeters. So it's very close to the 67.5 it labeled. And then the width is 45.2 centimeters. So it's actually a little bit longer than the label 45, but as I said, it's very close. And here are all the colors. Here are the 44 colors in this kit. As I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of blue teal tones and some white in this kit simply because of the backgrounds. So if you love color blocking, go for it. And here we have the two new Fairy Dust Diamond colors and two ABs. And I am super excited, especially about this lilac Fairy Dust. So I'm gonna pour these two out to show you what they look like close up. So there we go. These are the blue fairy dust diamonds. Look at the colors and the little dust on them. This is very breathtaking, stunning. I'm gonna run out of words, but pretty. <laughs> so it is actually a little lighter than I expected and the dust on there is shimmery blue. I'm trying my best to show you the details. So basically these are solid color blue diamonds with sparkly or you could say a little bit neon blue powders on top. And let's look at the lilac one. So here are the lilac colored fairy dust diamonds. Um, the powder on top, I would describe it as having a bit of both some blue reflection, but as well as some purple hue to it. So it got both blue and purple hue in the reflection of the powder. Whereas the blue one, let me try to put them together. Uh, not sure how much you can see through the camera, but I would say the blue one, the powder is pretty much only reflects blue hues. And it's a bit of a more intense type of blue hue than the blue hue in this lilac diamond, lilac fairy dust diamond. This one has both blue and purple, but the blue in here is a little bit weaker than the blue in the blue fairy dust diamond. Both super beautiful colors. I am super obsessed with this lilac one. I would work on this kit totally just for these diamonds alone. I cannot get enough of it. So now let's dive into the details on the canvas and see where these beautiful diamonds go. So the symbols that we need to pay attention to is the number one and two, which is the blue and white AB, as well as, can you see this? as well as the slash and the letter Y for the lilac and blue fairy dust, all right? Slash and Y for the fairy dust. So, top corner, this is the storm in the background. We don't have any special diamonds. 
And number four looks suspicious, but it is not an AV. <laughs> but I bet you it's a pretty, pretty dialect or gray, blue-ish kind of color. Um, but that's, I digress. So let's come back. We have her hair over here that has basically resonating color with the storm in the background. That's a really cute detail and got some, you know, three tens in there. And here we have the two sticks that she uses to play the drums. And let's keep going. This is the This is the main part of the girl with her dress that got ties in the back. I really love the dress that she's wearing, but I still don't see any AB or special diamonds yet. Oh wait, I totally missed some of them. So here, we do have a strip of the lilac fairy dust with the slash symbol in the background. And here we also have some slash in the background for the fairy dust. So these two strips in the background are the lilac fairy dust. And if we keep going. We got some random slashes here as well that has the lilac fairy dust, but we have some blue fairy dust that basically serve as the waters in our glass drums or transparent drums. There are some letter Y in here that are basically the blue fairy dust diamonds. We have some more. We have a few lilac fairy dust with the slash sprinkle in her dress in the background. Some more in the drums in the background. I haven't found another intense area like the above that has a lot of lilac fairy dust though. Oh, but then, but then, let's see. The bottom part of the artwork is where it starts to get really intense. That you see Diamond Night Club start to make it really exciting because we have a lot of the letter Y fairy dust, the blue fairy dust in this background here, but also here all around here and blue AB, we got the blue AB and the blue fairy dust together in the drum. So basically the waters in the drum that are creating a wave as she hit it does have a lot of the blue diamonds and the blue fairy dust to make it look like water is really reflecting light and it's shiny, got this motion to it. I really love this rendering over here. And we have some more of the purple fairy dust, lilac fairy dust in the background. And we have a bunch of the lilac fairy dust at the top part-ish of the drum that does not have the water. So if you think about it, it's pretty much like this sort of construction, right? We got the lilac and we got the blue fairy dust. They were each occupying the bottom and top parts of the drums and some more blue AB for the more intense part of the blue highlight. And here I spot some number two, that is our white AB. So it's sprinkled all over in here. As the water makes the splashes, it reflects the light. We got some white AB sprinkles throughout this drum, as well as this drum. You can see they're sprinkled in here. But otherwise, we don't have much of the white AB in the backgrounds at all. It's mostly in the waters of the drum over here. There's a few also sprinkled in here, but that's about it. You don't see much more of them elsewhere, except a little bit here in the disc of the drums. We have a few of the white AB, just like how the lilac fairy dust were sparkled in here. Uh, sorry. So at the top of here, so at the disc of the drum here, we have some of the white AB as well as some of the lilac fairy dust sprinkled in here. So that's about it.
It's a very beautiful piece of artwork, but as you see, the color could be a little bit monotone because it's just blue, navy, teal, white. So if you love this piece of artwork, it's gonna be a lot of fun to work on at the bottom. The top part has a lot of color blocking. So if I'm working on this one, I'll probably rotate, work on the bottom for a little bit, work on the top for a little bit, just to switch things up. But I'm sure that when it is finished, it is going to be stunning, poetic, all those things. So let me bring this canvas up for you to see what I mean when I said it's actually not a very huge canvas. So here is the canvas right next to me. Now you know what I mean when I say it is really not that big of a size. I'm actually a little bit surprised given the amount of detail in Yume's artwork in general. I have seen people discussing that they would love to see a Yume canvas that is a more manageable size versus the ones that Diamond Art Club has released in the past few canvases that are all gigantic sizes. So if you have been waiting for a Yume and this is such a manageable size, definitely make sure to get your hands on this one. If you have a drummer in the family or if you're trying to collect the entire glass instrument series, make sure to have your alarm set this Saturday morning. I hope you have learned all that you wanted about the kit through the sneak peek. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it to your friends, that will really keep me going. And if you wanna see more diamond painting related content just like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. With that being said, I hope we stay in touch. You can find me on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye.